just got back from picking up another uh, 400 pounds of native four dog food. And I figured it'd be a good day for me to talk to you guys about what we feed our sled dogs and why. So I'm gonna uh, talk about general sled dog nutrition and dog nutrition in general. And then I'm gonna get into some specifics and explain why we here at Poland Spring Sepple Kennels feed native four dog food as opposed to the other uh, competition performance brand dog foods that are out there. We're gonna be doing some comparison. I'm not gonna name any names, but uh, trust me when I say that the other two brands that I'm talking about are the two major brands that other dog sled kennels use when they're feeding their dogs. And we'll get into that. So in addition to uh, owning and operating Poland Spring Sepala Kennels, this is vodka by the way, uh, I also teach high school biology and we do an Iditarod module every year where we talk about the, uh, the caloric intake and uh, the caloric, uh, the calorie burn of, of sled dogs. Sled dogs are the, sled dogs are the greatest endurance athletes in the world. No other animal can do what they do. Um, some mushers have run in the past a thousand mile Yukon quest and then two weeks later bring those same dogs to run a thousand mile Iditarod. Uh, so within a month, just a little over a month, you've got dogs like this running 2,000 miles. And they're able to do that because they have what we call a metabolic switch. We as humans, when we're running, say, a marathon, we burn through the, uh, the, the glucose, we burn through those carbs in our system, and then our body starts to metabolize our own muscle. We start eating our own muscle, and that's why so many marathon runners are so lean. These guys have what we call a met metabolic switch. After they burn through their glucose in their system, like we do, then they switch over and they start using their, uh, the protein and the fat in their blood system. And that's why protein and fat is the number one thing you look for in a dog food. Um, as long as a musher is keeping that protein and fat in their system, they can actually increase their, um, their fitness as they go on these uh, extended uh, runs, expeditions, races they can actually extend, uh, improve their fitness over the course of these thousand mile races, whereas a human athlete in an ultra marathon obviously has going to, uh, is going to be greatly de depleted muscle-wise uh, by the time they get to the end of that race. Right? Right. Because of the dog's metabolic switch, um, performance dog food, uh, most mushers expect their kibble to be at least 30% protein and 20% fat. And that needs to be meat source. That protein and fat doesn't, should not be coming from a vegetable, should be coming primarily from meat. Now, native four dog food uh, exceeds both of the other two major brands. That's why we use it. Instead of 30% protein, it has 35% protein. One of the competitors has 30, one of them has 32. It also has 25% fat. Now one of the other competitors matches that number, but the other competitor is 20% fat. And this is just the beginning. This is just where we start to look and how we compare the dog foods. But then we're gonna get down into the ingredients and see really where the rubber meets the road. One of the best things you're gonna discover about Native 4 as compared to those other uh, two major competitors for performance dog food is you don't have to buy it by the pellet, by the pallet. Um, I buy it locally, uh, wherever Blue Seal is sold, you can buy this and uh, you can let them be your storage facility so that you're not dealing with rodents and all that stuff. I go and I pick up uh, eight to 10 bags at a time uh, so that I'm not having to deal with uh, lots of pallets and 
I get to do this in increments instead of uh, instead of uh, you know all at once. This is Hazel. She loves me. Uh, out of the seven top ingredients in native dog food, four of them are derived from animal. Uh, one of the other two leading competitors, only two of the top seven are uh, derived from animal protein and fat. And one of the others, the other one, the other leading brand is, uh, is three. So uh, right off the bat, you know that by far more of the protein and fat, more of the protein and fat is coming from animal product rather than from, uh, from uh, vegetable sources. The first ingredient other than meat uh, in Native 4 is uh, brown rice. Uh, the primary filler ingredient in the other brands is corn. And corn is a real no-no for dogs. So these are some things that you need to think about. Right? Right. One thing you'll notice if you've been around competitive mushers very long is of course they're supplementing their kibble with a lot of protein and fat uh, feeding raw meat uh, while they're in training and they'll increase that as they go. Um, but what the other thing that you'll notice is they're putting a lot of supplements, a lot of vitamins and minerals. They're grinding the, it up themselves and then they're adding it to their dog's food. Uh, usually when you're looking for something you want as few ingredients as possible, right? And first thing that I noticed that concerned me when I started looking at Native was it had 10 more ingredients in it than the other leading competitors. And so I looked down through the list and guess what? Uh, the 10 extra ingredients that native dog food has are the vitamins and supplements they're fortifying that other mushers are having to add to their kibble. And I've seen this uh, over the 20 years that I've been mushing. Uh, lots of mushers are adding this and native has already added it into your dog. final thing that I want to say is that while some of the other brands boast more calories per cup, if you look at the metabolized calories, and that's what counts, in other words, the stuff that the dog can actually use in their digestive system rather than poop out onto the ground, um, the metabolized energy, uh, the metabolized calories from Native 4 is higher than the other leading brands. So that's another, uh, was another really big selling point for me. Because what that means is, their body is able to utilize more of what you're feeding them, which means that they're pooping out less, uh, so it's more efficient, and you have less to clean up at the end of the day. And speaking of cleaning up, um, I have to go clean up some dog poop now. So I hope this has been helpful and informative to you. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me and I'll answer them as best I can. And if I don't have the answer, I will connect you with someone who does. Thanks a lot and have a good day.